Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just a quick question. Uh, this is uh, very much in relation to the question of the Chair. Uh, in your view, sa inyo po, uh, Secretary Gasmin, ano yung ibig sabihin ng sinabi ni President Obama na hindi makakapangako ang uh, Estados Unidos na makipaglaban sa kaya kahit na sino umatake sa Pilipinas? Ang nasabi mo kanina ay pagka may nangyari na gano'n, nagkaputukan, ay mahihila natin ang Amerika para tayo itulungan. Ngunit sinabi niya, maliwanag na maliwanag, that the United States cannot promise that it will go to war if the Philippines is attacked. So, ano sa palag kaya uh, na, 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 napuna ko rin na sa inyong uh, salaysay ay uh, pinag-usapan lamang ninyo ay training at saka pagpatibay ng ating uh, Uh, ng ating uh, mga mga AFP uh, at saka yung pagpaganda ng ating maritime security. Hindi natin napag-usapan kung ano ba talaga ang inaasahan natin sa Amerika. Doon sa sinabi ni President Obama nung kanyang bisita dito, ano sa palagay ninyo ang ibig sabihin nun na hindi makapangako ang Amerika na sila ay lalaban para sa Pilipinas kung tayo man ay inatake. Ang sabi po ni uh, President Obama, ang commitment ng U.S. ay ironclad. Ibig sabihin, eh, matatag yung matibay yung kanilang commitment sa atin. Ngayon, uh, tayo ay naniniwala dahil ito ang pinakamataas na uh, Amerikanong nagsabi nito. Uh, matibay ang commitment ngunit anong ibig sabihin ng commitment na yun? Anong naipapangako ng Amerika uh, hindi lamang sa Mutual Defense Treaty kung hindi pati na dito sa EDCA uh, na sila ay tutulong sa atin sa pagka nagka nagkaroon ng gera Please excuse me I remember that President Obama paid a state visit to Japan and there he was asked since there, there are certain islands of Japan the ownership of which is in dispute. He was asked, will the United States go to war if the Japanese islands are invaded? And he said yes. And eventually he was asked, will the United States go to war if the Philippines is invaded? And he said no. That's of record. Yes, Madam Chair, that is precisely what I am uh, alluding to. And I would like, uh, in the light of our uh, examinations as to whether or not the EDCA is, uh, uh, again, provides us additional security or strengthens our, our commitments to one another vis-a-vis -vis the United States and the Philippines. Uh, I was asking what, in fact, is their interpretation, is the uh, Department of De uh, National Defense's interpretation uh, of these uh, pronouncements that uh, Senator Obama, uh, sorry, President Obama made, and beyond that, uh, the uh, uh, what what we have what we have uh, in the EDCA as to what exactly the response of the United States will be should uh, we find ourselves in a shooting war. Well, right now, uh, Your Honor, we use EDCA as a deterrent to any threat to our security. As we are using this, we continue to fill in the gap to our modernization program. Well, a deterrent, ibig na parang hindi naman na, nananakot o nagsasabi, nagma, nagsasabi na huwag kayong lumaban sa amin dahil lalabanan namin kayo. Ikakasabi sa atin, hindi kami lalaban para sa Pilipinas. So, paano magiging deterrent yun? Dahil sasabihin ng, sasabihin ng kahit sino, paputokan nga natin yung barko ng Pilipinas, hindi tayo matatakot dahil sinabi na ng Amerika, hindi naman sila makikipagera para sa Pilipinas. So that's not a deterrent. Pa, pa, why will why will why will a aggressive uh, power have second thoughts or be afraid of attacking us when nobody is going to come to defend us except our own armed forces? With the deterrence that nangyayari nga ngayon, kita nyo hindi tayo inaatake do sa ating pagresupply ng ating mga tropa sa yung show. Although we we have uh, uh, skirmishes, uh, but not, in, uh, not uh, cause a shooting war. 
Uh, th th thank you, Mr. Secretary. I, I think that is due, due to the uh, bravery and skill of our own servicemen. Uh, I don't think the Americans played a part in that, but never mind. Uh, and uh, if that is your uh, uh, interpretation. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. That, that is the main purpose of uh, the agreed locations for the, to improve our maritime security, to uh, uh, help in the organization of our, of our ex military exercises together in the United States. However, in Article 6 of uh, the agreement of EDCA, uh, it speaks mostly of prepositioning. And uh, uh, prepositioning, I, I take to mean, is simply the forward positioning of uh, material for, so that uh, when there is a deployment in that part of the world, that this material need not come from a distance far away in the United States. I, I am reminded of the prepositioned material that you see in a place like Hawaii, where there are acres and acres of military equipment just waiting to be deployed should there be a need. And furthermore, it is uh, in paragraph 3 of Article 4, it reads, the preposition material of United States force shall be for the exclusive use of the United States force. And full title, such equipment, supplies, and material remains with the United States. We'll have, the United States will have contr control over the access to and disposition of such preposition material and shall have the unencumbered right to remove such preposition material at any time from the territory of the Philippines. This is implying that this preposition material in the Philippines uh, agreed locations is for war. And it is not to do with training, it is not to do with increasing the Philippine Armed Forces capability, but merely it is using the agreed locations on, in the Philippines should there be an, an, a need. To, um, to prosecute a war in our part of the world, uh, which will, which will um, uh, and the prepositioning of this material will be clearly um, for the use only of United States forces. Surely um, that uh, implies that this is now a U.S. base. Uh, so then, or you said, uh, but you know. We would like to make emphasis on the uh, uh, pertinent uh, phrase in paragraph 1 of Article 4 that requires the prepositioning of and storing of defense equipment to go through bilateral security mechanisms and such as the Mutual Defense Board and the Security Engagement Board. This clearly provides that the Philippines consent is needed for the prepositioning of this material, taking into consideration its own, our own national interest. Differ. My reading of it, of it is that does not require the Philippines uh, consent any longer because in the language, Philippine consent is actually being given. And therefore, that consent need not be uh, need not be given at any time in the future. It is already given by, the, uh, by virtue of this uh, agreement. So there is no uh, bilateral consultation in any way. Dahil nasa, binigyan na natin ng karapatan na sige, sige, magpasok kayo ng kung ano yung gusto ninyo. Na mailagay ninyo dito sa mga agreed location uh, mga gamit na hindi naman magagamit ng mga, mga sundalong Pinoy. So Paano hindi naging base yan? Parang it, it looks to me, it, it looks a lot, it sounds a lot to me like a base because it is the, precisely the kind of activities that they do on bases on American soil. Kaya nga, hindi, hindi, napapag-usapan natin na, na maraming nababanggit tungkol nga sa training, capability, disaster relief, okay, lahat yan. Pero maliwanag na maliwanag, meron silang may, may bahagi nung, nung agreed location na para sa Amerikano lang. At tayo naman ay pumayag. Yes, Your Honor. The, we, we, we think that we need to contextualize the language uh, presented under Paragraph 1. Mm -hmm. The Mutual Defense Board and the Security Engagement Board 
are established consulting mechanisms that uh, meet regularly, year to year, mm -hmm. to uh, discuss the activities and all other details in connection with these activities. Thus, this is a regular consulting mechanism between the U.S. and the Philippines in the planning of training activities as well as other operational details such as venue of the training exercise and the uh, possible material to be used for the training exercises. So it is our position, uh, Your Honor, that uh, through paragraph one, it is clear that there is still this consenting mechanism that is needed to be passed before any preposition material could be uh, decided by the two parties Good. to be stored in the agreed location. And the last sentence <coughs> in that paragraph says, the United States forces shall notify the AFP. We'll not, not consult, we'll not seek the agreement, but we'll notify. Again, uh, the, this bilateral consultation seems to be absent in that, in, in, in that kind of language. Your Honor, uh, the first sentence would uh, pertain to the identification of the preposition material to be stored. Once that determination has been made, then uh, we still require the U.S. to notify us in advance of the delivery of these preposition material. Uh, of course, uh, this is needed so that we could coordinate the, our, um, our protocols uh, with the delivery of these items. Also, um, Your Honor, we would want to also emphasize a very important uh, paragraph in Article 4, specifically Paragraph 2, where the parties share recognition of the benefits that such prepositioning could have for HADR and for the enhancement of their individual and collective defense capabilities, mm. which is again in consonance with Article 1 of uh, the, e the EDCA, which focuses on the development and preparation of our individual and collective capacity for mutual defense. We note, Your Honor, uh, your observation under paragraph 3. Uh, and uh, it is our position that this is a re reasonable provision because this equipment and material stored really still belongs to the U.S. However, it will be used for the conduct of training exercises for the benefit of uh, both the Philippine and U.S. forces. It can be used for HADR uh, in times of disasters. But, but uh, you said there's no, there's nothing here to say that the preposition material will only be relief goods, will only be water supply for disaster preparedness, uh, will only be uh, for that. Uh, if that were the only thing, that will certainly wouldn't be a problem. But uh, the, we, we, we are talking about we are talking about weapons and, and, and uh, uh, material uh, that are being uh, that are being stored. But anyway, I, I need not belabor the point. I think I have made my point that it should seem that at least, at the very least, there is a section, a part of these agreed locations, which will be for the sole use of the United States forces, which would seem to imply that they have now established a base in the Philippines. So uh, with that, uh, Madam Chair, thank you.